Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying Urban Hydration's facial mask. Um, it's a three-part set. Um, a facial wash, a daily lotion, and a peel-off mask. It's also their Nourish and Rehydrate line. So, I guess we'll just get started. First off is the face wash. So, I'm just going to wet a towel and warm up my face with hot water to open my pores. The products are meant to gently exfoliate the skin, um, brighten and even out skin tone, and add moisture back to your skin. So I'm starting with the wash and I'm just applying it with my fingers, making sure this area for me is really sensitive so I'm not going to put anything there. And then you don't want to get anything too close to your eyes. The product feels really smooth. It feels really moisturizing. I don't feel like I'm stripping my skin or I'm over exfoliating it. Well, it's not an exfoliant, it's a face wash, but. You can tell the product is really gentle. Okay, so I think that's enough. Um, I'm not going to just dunk my face in the water like I usually would. I'm going to re wet the towel and then just. It has a really, really good smell. It almost, it's not really minty. It just smells really fresh. So one thing I'm noticing, my face doesn't feel tight. Like a lot of, a lot of um, skincare lines will leave your face feeling really tight and like stripped. This isn't doing that. So that's a plus. So I'm going to try the mask now. So basically with this, I think... I can't really I don't know what that smell is but it's it's good it's really sticky so you're just gonna want to apply it and leave it on for 15 minutes Yeah, I think I put enough on, but it's clear, so not. I think that's enough. So I'm just going to leave it on for 15 minutes, and I'll come back when it's ready to peel. Okay, so it's been over 15 minutes, and oh, that looks nasty. It's been over 15 minutes, so I'm going to try and peel it off now. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty easy. I think even though I gave it... A little bit more than the time it said it needed it could have went a little longer or maybe i'm just not good at like knowing how much to put on okay the forehead is easier i think i'll start there my skin feels pretty soft just like when i put this off okay
Okay, so I'm about to rinse this off because that's just, it's not gonna peel off. But I guess the good thing is my skin feels really smooth. A lot of peel off masks kind of make your skin feel a little weird after. So I'm just gonna rinse it. Oh, I'm just gonna rinse this off. Before I um, do the last, which is a lotion, I'm going to use a little bit of witch hazel to just take off any excess. No matter what um, facial products I use, I'll always use witch hazel after I like wash it, like before I put the lotion on or like whatever moisturizer it is, just because I feel like toning my skin has done a lot for it. Is witch hazel a toner? I think it is. So there's that. It's gonna let that air dry for a second. What I would usually use on my skin um, is the Biore Charcoal or Dove Baby Wash, which really isn't a face wash, but it works for me. So last up is their Daily Lotion, which I love face. Just gonna use a little. This also has a really, really fresh smell. So that's, oh crap, that's all on. Okay, it's really light. That's like, that's good. nice and thin so that's it those are all three products so that's it that's all three products the wash lotion and the face mask i think my favorite was probably the face wash just because i don't know i liked how smooth it felt and how I, it really felt hydrating like your skin was being moisturized as you wash which is something a lot of washes don't do, which i like that um the the face mask was interesting when i first put it on it was stinging a little which i i really don't like that but i get that with a lot of facial and clay masks so i think it might just be my skin but I wish this could be a little gentler. It's a good size though. This will be a lot of uses. So will this. Um, the lotion too. The lotion too. Um, I liked how light the lotion was. It didn't make my skin feel tight after. None of these products made my skin feel tight. They all felt really natural. I did use the facial wash the other day and I liked what it did. I've been using it before bed and I, I really like it. So, that, But this was my first time trying out these other two products. I think... Like I said, this is my favorite, but the lotion actually works really well. And the face mask, it says you can use it like once a week, and I think that's what I'll do because it's just too much for every day. But overall, these are really good products. So the price point is also pretty good. They're all, all three of them are $9.99, so about $10. So if you were to get the whole set, it'd be about 30, which I think that's pretty good for how well these work. Okay, I'm gonna rate each of them 110. So this one to 10 would be 7.5 or an 8. I liked, um, I like that it's clear. There's no extra dyes. There's no dyes in any of the products. Um, I like that it's clear. It peeled off pretty well. I think I could have let it dry more or like been in better control of how much I put in different places. But my skin felt really nice when I took it off, which is, which is great. Um, the face wash, I would give this a 9 or a 10 because it smells good. It works well. It's very soft. It makes your skin feel soft, and the product is very smooth, which I don't know if that feels nice. And then the lotion, probably be 8 or 9 out of 10. I don't know, I guess I liked all the products, which, which is great. Thanks for watching.